this video, we're going to use the MB5 to address an area at the base of the neck. This is going to be near the upper trap. We're trying to release a muscle called the levator scapula. The levator scapula can frequently become short and tight. It can increase tension in the neck or sometimes even lead to shoulder pain. To find the muscle, we're going to reach across the shoulder, place the fingers at the base of the neck. That's right where we're going to place the MB5. Let's go ahead and get started. For this release, we have three different techniques that make up our programming. We will start by performing a cross friction, then we'll move to performing a shoulder flexion or motion through the shoulder, and then we'll move into a neck flexion or getting motion into the head. Now let's position the MB5 up against the wall and place the muscle directly on top. The wall is going to help us increase some compression and maintain leverage. If you'd like more compression, you can step your feet out further away from the wall. If you need less, you can step closer. If you identify a tender spot, we're going to stop and hold pressure on it for about 20 to 30 seconds. Once that time is up, now we'll move to our programming. So we're going to start with four cross frictions. We'll take a big breath in so we can relax. As we release, we'll move our body side to side. Notice this is a small motion consistent motion and make sure you breathe as you go through it. There's number three, we have four total. Last one here, there's four, perfect. Now for our next motion, we're going to do two shoulder flexions. So let's take that arm and reach out, big breath in, reach all the way overhead and back down. There's one, we have two of these, one more. That's perfect. Our last technique here is a chin tuck or neck flexions, but we're going to start by slightly rotating the head to look away, and then we'll tuck the chin towards the chest. There's one, head's going to come back up. We have one more of those, slight rotation. Tuck the chin, there's two. That's perfect, that's our first pass. We're going to go through that one more time. Start with the cross frictions, big breath in. As you release, we'll shift the body side to side. There's one, and again, a small motion consistent motion maintaining control. There's two, we have four of these. There's three, last one. There's four, that's perfect. Now to our shoulder flexions, let's take that arm, reach all the way out, reach overhead. There's one, very good. Make sure you breathe as you go through this as well. There's two. Our last technique here is going to be the neck flexion, so we'll rotate the head away. Tuck the chin, there's one. That's perfect, one more, chin tuck, very good, you can relax there, great job, let's move on to our next release.